Hello and welcome back and I want to continue my look at the different ways in which you can utilize a QNAP NAS in your home environment. Now we already looked at how to download podcasts onto your QNAP NAS and today I want to talk about how to download torrents to your QNAP NAS. Now before we get or go any further please guys use this for legal purposes. Don't go ripping people off, don't go copyright infringing and ultimately don't spoil this for the rest of us because the more people out there that abuse these systems and abuse the way these things are done, the more likely it is that no one gets to play with these toys. So do me a favor, keep legal, okay? So on your QNAP NAS, you want to download the application called Download Station. If you don't already have it, head to the App Center and you can find it there for free. Once you've got it downloaded, click on the app to get it started. And this is the download station interface. For those that watch the podcast video, you'll be eminently uh, familiar with that Bugle one down there. Now, torrents, like many download systems, are, have been designed to make downloading straightforward, easier, um, straightforward and easier for many users, as well as sharing the burden in many regards. Now, for those that aren't aware, the Internet Archive is hands down the best it's, think of it more as like the Wikipedia of files. So rather than information, it's more about a historical legacy of data. Most of you have heard of Wayback Time Machine or Wayback Machine that tells you about how the internet has changed with individual URLs and the internet. And the archive.org for here isn't that much different. Now last time for the Synology video, I showed you how to download a video torrent. But for now, we're going to download some software, I think. Now, if we go to the software section, let's move that across there, and you will select uh, maybe some CD-ROM selection, or maybe some apps. There's so many things to pick, Rob, and I cannot recommend the, the archive enough. But say we go for the Doom Level CD collection. So someone has uploaded this and made it readily available. So, if we have a look at... Um, uh, Mega Doom. This looks like a bootleg version of Doom. And from here, you can find out what the rules are if you're allowed to download it. And again, I do recommend before you do any action on these, just to double check that you won't be infringing any copyright with regards to downloading any of these files. But again, generally, the internet, uh, uh, the archive.org, you should be absolutely fine, particularly if it's shareware or um, has the right uh, credentials. So. From here, you want to go on the right hand side on this particular website, but things do change. And you can either download the torrent file, which is kind of the file that gives the instructions to the NAS, or better still, right click, go to copy link address, then head over to your QNAP NAS, go there, and from here, click the plus symbol at the top. Enter either the URL that we just copied, or if you click torrent file, you can upload that file we downloaded, but I recommend our input URL. From here, paste in that thing, uh, the link that you you copied earlier, and make sure it ends in .torrent or .trt. From there, click next. Here is where you would select where the temporary files are based, so if it's multiple files within one zip folder or one folder, they'll live there until they're completed and they move to here. So for now, we're gonna go with download, we're not gonna worry about all the other folders, and we're gonna move forward from there, and that's it. Now, we're downloading this file directly from the archive as a torrent. Again, you can download so many different kinds of folders and files, and for now, it looks like it has completed. It didn't seem like it was a particularly big folder or file. Uh, we haven't got too much information on its actual size, but as you can see, it's already started downloading those files and folders for us. And that's it. We're downloading. Let's go there. And we're up to 13% progression. Now, the speed at which your file will download will be based on the number of peers and seeds, as well as the internet speed you already have. Once a file is completed, it will be moved, as you can see from this other file, over to here, whereupon you can either remove from the task list or remove and delete data, which completely removes the file from your NAS. And again, you can do this with any kind of torrent file, but I urge you to stay legal and not to commit any kind of crime doing this. I'm going to delete these files here. Remove and delete data. And there you have it. That has been how to download a torrent on your QNAP NAS. We will be doing a few other things 
uh, with these two nazis while we've got them set up side by side but otherwise thank you so much for watching i hope you found this helpful and do check out my other videos about how to make the most of your nans thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time